Welcome to another week of the Sherlock Holmes Premier League preview. Uh, football is getting more and more exciting in the Premier League. We've seen league leaders Man United's title charge halted momentarily by rival City. The battle for the top four gets more exciting and the scrap for relegation gets even tenser. All that previewed just now. Arsenal host Norwich first up in the first of four games at midnight this Saturday night. Uh, really, with daylight savings and things, we've got some fantastic kickoffs at this end of the season, which um, hopefully will gender to a bit of sleep if nothing else. Um, Arsenal had a tough win last week at West Bromwich Albion. They scrapped to a 2 1 win, which was good for them and showed a bit of character, which is good to see. They host Norwich this week. And at the Emirates, they're really pushing for a top four berth at the moment, and we'll see what happens. I'm going to back them to win two goals to one. Then we have Aston Villa versus Fulham. Villa had a wonderful 3 1 win last week, which uh, is really, really so crucial for their um, charge to stay alive this season. They host Fulham this week, um, who were unlucky against Newcastle last round, and I'm going to back Villa to win two goals to nil. They'll keep their form going. Then we see Everton hosting Queen's Park Rangers. Everton had a 2-2 draw at White Hart Lane versus Tottenham last week. They were pretty disappointed with that. They played really well. They looked a lot more dangerous, especially in the first half against the Spurs. Uh, QPR on the other hand is still really struggling. They had um, key striker Bobby Zamora sent off for a really high foot kind of kung fu challenge, which didn't help their cause. Um, for Everton, the form of Kevin Morales is so, so crucial at the moment. Just being in the side for longer than three or more matches is really, really crucial. Um, he's keeping them. They're so creative when he plays. He scored another fantastic solo goal. Went past about four players inside the box and scored against Tottenham last week. Um, with QPR at Goodison Park, on the back Everton to win two goals to them. And our next match uh, sees Reading hosting Liverpool. Reading, not much chopped down at Southampton last week. Liverpool, on the other hand, were uh, probably quite disappointed, I'd say, to draw nil nil at home to West Ham last week. Uh, they'd expect a lot more. Suarez had uh, a fairly rare off day. He'll probably be back in form this week, and I'm going to back them to win one goal to nil. Then Southampton host West Ham that night, at midnight again as well. Uh, and of course, West Ham, very. You know, a good performance for them to get a point at Anfield. It's what they needed. They weren't really, you know, be a big ask for them to snatch a win there. They played pretty defensively, almost parked the bus with three holding midfielders, but that's what Big Sam, the manager's capable of doing. They hooked it up, ball to come, Cole, and he did just enough. And, they, you know, yes, Galan and goal was solid enough, and they, I think a draw was a fair point for them. Uh, they did a good job. Southampton, on the other hand, had a 2-1 win over Reading down on the coast, which was good for them. Jay Rodriguez is just on fire at the moment. The young guy, he'll be in England, in the, uh, sorry, the England squad in the not too distant future. Watch out for him. Uh, this match, though, on the back a draw, 1-1. Both points that'll keep both sides up. Then we move to Sunday night, and we have a 9pm kickoff, which is almost unheard of. Australian viewers, um, which is the Newcastle Sunderland uh, North East Derby, which is just going to be huge. It's going to be packed in here. We've got quite a few people coming in, the Newcastle supporters group, which will be good to see. It'll be loud, it'll be boisterous. Uh, Newcastle, uh, their escape <laughs> from relegation is uh, rolling on. They had a good win over Fulham last week. A 1 0 win thanks to a wonder strike from Papa Cissé very, very late on. Sunderland, on the other hand, they were really plucky um, against Chelsea. Very unlucky with uh, a handful of own goals in that match to lose 2 1. Down at Stamford Bridge, but at least maybe Di can work a bit of magic and inspire an otherwise pretty uninterested playing squad. Um, at St James Park, though, I'm going to back Newcastle, the hosts, to win two goals to one. Then later that evening at 5 past 11, we see Stoke hosting Man United at the Britannia. United had their winning streak snapped by Man City last week. They looked ordinary. They didn't. There was no movement off the ball. City just bossed them through the midfield and looked so much more dangerous up front. The main problem has been Van Persie's lack of goals. He seemed to have scored them all at the start of the season. When, in hindsight, that is when it may have truly mattered as they um, opened up that enormous lead at the top of the table. But you can score goals for Holland, which he did a couple of weeks ago, but for United, He's just not hitting the target, not taking chances, which is disappointing for him. And Rooney hasn't been as good as he would expect himself to be. That being said, a trip for Stoke, they should still do just enough, and I'm going to back them to win one goal to nil, and possibly see more funny faces from Phil Jones. 
Then at midnight that night, we see Wigan hosting Swansea. Uh, it's going to be another great escape from Wigan. They've done it the last couple of seasons. They stayed up last year, and this is when they time their run. They're, they're doing well at the moment, and you know you can see them escaping the drop yet again. Swansea, on the other hand, the season is almost done for them. There's no real need to get too excited. They're going to stay up. They've got Euro European football next season, and they've already won the League Cup trophy, so it's just a kind of a case of sort of trying to stay interested for them uh, which is fantastic for their fans who not long ago were in the championship um, with with the Wigan match I'm going to back the hosts to win two goals to nil watch them continue their uh, stay up in the Premier League then we see Man City host West Brom Man City are in fantastic form as of late but it may be too little too late in terms of the title charge it is still mathematically possible but unlikely for them to pick for rivals United still 12 points there's still a handful of matches to go and you never know what can happen it could get a lot closer but I doubt City will um, retain their title that one last year uh, Sergio Aguero scored his third goal of the season just his third um, at United that old trap last week which is a fantastic Fantastic strike weaving his way through the defence, but that's been a major problem for them. They've had no goals from Aguero and no goals from Balotelli, which is easily sort of 20, maybe 30 goals they had last season, which made a lot of the difference. Hosting West Brom, who um, competed and looked alright in especially the last 10 minutes against Arsenal last week, but just couldn't get a second goal to equalise. Um, I'm the back city to win three goals to And then our last match of the round is. By far the match of the week, Chelsea versus Tottenham, the battle for third and possibly fourth place here. This is where it gets really, really interesting. Um, there's a huge three points here. Either side could would love nothing more, especially being crossed down London rivals, to sink a boot into each other and possibly a nail out of their Champions League ambitions. Uh, Chelsea scrapped past Sunderland, as we said, with some own goals uh, last weekend. Tottenham, on the other hand, were very, very lucky to rescue a late point against Everton last week, which was a very crucial point. They were staring down the barrel of a loss there. Um, Bale's fitness is a huge, huge problem. If they couldn't do enough without him to get past Everton, then it's very unlikely that they will get past Chelsea. That being said, if he comes back, which is a possibility, um, but after that Europa League injury last week, it's very unlikely. And I'm going to back Chelsea to win two goals. So that's us for another week. Come down, have a look at these wonderful early kickoffs where you can uh, not have a horrendously late night. And again, Sunday night, 9 o'clock, we will be open for the Newcastle Sunderland derby. It'll be fantastic. But if we don't see you, have a good week.